as long as your back is quite straight and you feel comfortable, you're good to go. I mean, to sit. So, you can sit like this. You can sit like this. You can sit like this or like this. You can sit like this. You can sit like this. And you can even sit like this. Back straight. Feeling comfortable? What's up? Just try. Try different sitting positions until you find one that works for you. Usually it's easier when our buttocks are raised a little. So if you're sitting on a hill like me, pro tip, sit facing downhill. I beg to differ, sir. If you don't have the chance to live in Windows XP like me, you might want to use a prop such as a cushion, a folded blanket, or even a cloth. Anything will do. Just experiment with different heights and see what works best for you. Well, Doggy, I think that's my cushion. Yeah. Yeah, let's swap. Feels better, right? Also, you want to sit on the first third of your cushion so as not to block the blood from flowing to your thighs. Ah, perfect. And now, you know how to sit? If your posture begins to hurt, no worries, you can always change it. It's sitting meditation, it's not a competition. To make your body stronger, more flexible and more relaxed, I recommend you also exercise. I have videos on the Hindu squats, Hindu push-up that you can do every morning before breakfast, and the arm swinging exercise, which you can do every evening before bed. This will really help condition your body for sitting meditation. Rule number one for sitting meditation is don't take yourself too seriously. You're just sitting. Chill. And rule number two is be patient with yourself because it takes time to train our mind. Our mind can do funny things sometimes and sometimes less funny things. Be gentle with yourself and don't give up. Make it a daily habit, but make it short. When it's short, it's sustainable. A little bit every day goes a long way. Thank you for listening. We wish you much happiness in your sitting meditations. My back is straight. I'm feeling comfortable. What's up? <laughs> <laughs>